caught it. It's kind of inevitable. And today officially begins my vacation. So I'm here with my dad. Hello. But you guys have not seen a lot. You guys haven't seen my dad. He lives down here in Florida. So today, on this rainy, cold day, we are headed to Universal Studios. We're gonna have a good time, and we're gonna take you guys along for it. So let's let's go have some fun at a not Disney park, which is weird for me. Do you have anything to say? We're gonna have a great time. Really, we are. We are. All right. So I'll see you guys in the park. Bye. So the first ride of the day is the Twister. It's only an 18 minute wait right now. There's a lot of copyright music, so hopefully this won't get screwed over. But yeah, let's go ride Twister. Cow, another cow. All right guys, we've hit that magical point in our day where we're going to King's Cross Station, which means my dad and I are about to head to Diagon Alley. Uh, I think we're gonna grab some Butterbeer, maybe head to Gringotts, all of that good stuff. So, ah! Guys, sad moment. The Hogwarts Express isn't running from King's Cross right now. You can't go run to platform nine and three quarters. It's a bummer and a half. Okay, so we actually walked to Diagon Alley. It's you taking the train from King's Cross to um, Hogwarts. So this is a thing of magic. Um, when I came for Open of the Clothes, I lost my collective mind because this is truly what it's like to have movie magic come to life. If you guys haven't seen it already, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Diagon Alley. Get your robes, get your sweets, and head on down to Green Gods. Let's bring a ride, and then I'm going to buy my dad a butterbeer, because you can't not come to Universal Studios and go to Wizarding World without having a butterbeer. It's kind of a thing. So, and maybe if he's lucky, he'll get to see the dragon breathe fire, which I have a video of. So, let's go to Gringotts and try and ride that ride. So, yeah, let's go. Guys, I'm actually in a leaky cauldron right now. I have a butter beer. We're about to get seated. This is insanity. Look at this. All right, so we have our drinks. Um, I, of course, cannot come to Wizarding World without getting a frozen butter beer. And then my dad got a Otter's Fizzing Orange, I guess, because they don't sell any like sodas in the Wizarding World. So we are gonna grab our food and we're gonna sit down and eat and I'll show you guys what we get. Let's go. All right guys, we are leaving the Leaky Cauldron. I have my frozen butter beer in tow. We are gonna go see if the Hogwarts Express is running back from Diagon Alley and King's Cross Station so we can head over to Hogsmeade. And yeah, we're, it's really exciting. Oh, oh, is, I don't know, Is I think the dragon's about to blow. So it looks like the King's Cross Station is open again, which means we can now head from Diagon Alley over to Hogsmeade, which makes me a very, very happy camper. Um, so this is just awesome, I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh look, there's even like a busker, so it's like really like London. He's Harry freaking Potter. No, he's not even Derek Chris. Nope. Nope. So we've made it into platform nine three quarters, and my father is having a ball of a time taking photos right now. I'm finishing up my butter beer. I'm moonwalked through platform nine and three quarters because I'm that much of a douche. But yeah, so I'm waiting for him to get over here and then we're gonna go jump in line. Uh, what? We just rode the Hogwarts Express to Hogsmeade and I forgot to ask you this. Do you know what your house is? Uh, Do you know what the Hogwarts houses are? Gryffindor? Close. <laughs> Griffin, would you say Griffin Dork? Griffin Dork. Griffin Dork. I'll give you that. Okay. Do you know what one I am? Uh, not Slytherin. No, I'm not a Slytherin, but I'm impressed that you know that Slytherin is a house. Uh, no, I, those are the only two that I know. Okay. Just as a future reference, in case that everyone wants to know, I am a true Ravenclaw. I do have Gryffindor tendencies, but I will always consider myself a Ravenclaw, like one of my favorite people of all time, Miss Luna Lovegood. 
so maybe I'll make him take a sorting quiz. That could be fun, oh my gosh. Dad takes a sorting quiz, that's the new YouTube challenge. Let's make that a thing, let's try and think if there's any like Harry Potter challenges that we can make our parents do, because that would just be amazing. And, oh, we're here. So we've just gotten off the Hogwarts Express. I think we're gonna go see if Dueling Dragons is open, and if not, we're also gonna go see if the Forbidden uh, Journey, what the wait time is on that. I was like, listening to the music, I was like, oh my god. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, and I'm gonna, of course, go take photos in front of Hogwarts, because Hogwarts is our home, hashtag we are the eighth book. Thank you, HBA. So yeah, let's go explore. When I came in the other day for Open to the Clothes, like I got so emotional, I almost cried. And it was like dark out, so I haven't seen it in its beautiful daytime summer in Florida, but winter in Hogsmeade's glory. So, hallelujah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all this glory. God. This is the shit the dreams are made of. So. I think we're gonna go look to see what the wait time is for Dragon's Challenge, and then we're gonna head over and go do Forbidden Journey. So that's gonna be like a long, long, long wait, I already know. So let's go look. All right, so we rode Dragon Challenge and walked on it essentially, and then had trouble getting everything out of our locker because they would have recognized my thumbprints, and yeah, just a whole big story with that. So now we're gonna go ride, um, I don't think we're gonna do Flying Hippogriff, but I know we're gonna go do the Forbidden Forest, I believe it is, or the other Harry Potter ride further down in Hogsmeade. And then we're gonna walk over to the castle, and we're gonna do some photos. And then I think we're gonna go hit the rest of the rides that we have favorited for today. And yeah, I don't know. I know. All right, so we just got off of the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey ride. Which it was is, terrific. It was, it was the best ride We here. had so much fun. We did single rider, so we practically walked on. But oh my god, like the animatronics, the like effects, the seating. Think of like how you um, get onto the ride for Haunted Mansion at Disneyland, but very different. Like oh, but it's so cool. Please, if you guys ever come here, please. Head on over to Hogwarts and ride the ride. Oh my god, I cannot say good enough stuff about it. Do, 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 I won't get to for copyright. Do, 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 do. Left Hogwarts and I think we're going into the one part that I am so excited for. Oh my god, we are. My shirt has made it. Yes! Alright, so as you guys know, I'm a big fan of doing all the meet and greets with characters, but Universal's got something banging. They have a raptor meet and greet in there. I'm gonna go find a map. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, I wanna I wanna pet the little baby Triceratops. Oh my goodness. Oh, my gosh, she's so sweet. <laughs> All right, so we got our map. We are about to do the Jurassic Park River Adventure, which is kind of the ride that when you think of Jurassic Park, you think of the Universal Park. This is the one that they are always showing. So I'm excited to do that. I haven't done this in maybe 10 years. All right, so we just finished doing the Jurassic Park ride. And I don't know why, but I remember when we were younger, like, you used to get soaked. But I got more wet from sitting down and from the pterodactyl, not pterodactyls, the um, velociraptors spraying at me than I did in the big drop. So I guess it's a good sign. Um, Alright, 
So now, after refueling with some coffee after the Hulk, which is amazing, we are gonna head back towards Hogsmeade. We're gonna watch the Frog Choir. We are going to watch um, the Tribes of Tournament. Look, it's Captain America. Do it, save a second, hold on. See? It's not as good of a costume as Disneyland. I mean, I get that it's like the original cartoon one, but like, goddamn, Disneyland got that costume unlocked. So yeah, we're gonna go do that, and then we're gonna do our last two coasters of the day. All right, guys, we have just left Hogsmeade, which means that for the foreseeable future, this is my last time in the Harry Potter verse of parks, that is, until springtime when either Wizarding World LA will open, which might prompt me to get an annual pass there, or until Playlist Live back down here in Orlando. I'm about to do the Simpsons ride. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, and with that, we just rode our last ride. It's getting to be dinner time now, so we're gonna go figure out what we wanna do for dinner. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave. So, um, I might, we'll end the vlog here. So thank you guys for watching um, this video of my trip to Universal Studios it's the first time in like 10 years. Um, as always, there's links to my social media in the description bar below. Uh, stay tuned for the next couple of days worth of videos and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!